Hey guys, welcome back to the Chef Jeff Experience, where this is your premier channel for the tens of millions of people who own waterless cookware and don't have to know how to use it. So today uh, we're going to be doing a spicy chicken spinach lasagna, and it's yummy and it's quick and easy. This would be classified as what we call a one-pan wonder. And the ingredients you're going to need, the first thing you're going to need are some diced uh, chicken breasts. And I couldn't find those, so I bought these chicken tenderloins, and I just took them and I cut them up into bite-sized pieces. And so that's the first thing you're gonna need is the chicken. Next, you're gonna need um, one jar of marinara, and we're gonna use some organic marinara from Aldi's. Then you're gonna need one large container of cottage cheese, one container of, it would be Rotel, or this is the Aldi's brand. And then last but not least, you're gonna need some chopped uh, green chilies. Well, wait, not last but least. You're gonna need some chopped green chilies, and then you're gonna need some noodles, and we're gonna use these, uh, all these organic brown rice and uh, quinoa noodles. And the reason I'm using these is because they have a lot more fiber in them, so for those people who are diabetic, this will uh, keep, you, keep the blood sugar from spiking as bad if you just use uh, flour noodles. Then we're gonna need one bag of spinach and last but not least the last two ingredients are one jalapeno pepper and one block eight ounces of pepper jack cheese all right so that's what you're going to need and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our diced chicken breast and these are actually still frozen so you don't have to thaw them and we're just going to put enough of these in the bottom of the oil pour electric just enough to cover the bottom. All right, next, we're gonna take our organic uh, marinara and we're just gonna pour that over the top of the chicken. Then we're gonna take our noodles Put our noodles in hard. Then we're gonna do our can of Rotel. Our can of chopped green chilies. And then our Jalapeno, and what I'm going to do on this is we're going to chop the end off, then I'm going to chop it in half, and then we're just going to take our knife and we're going to clean those seeds out. I guess I'm not doing very good for your camera shot. And that'll get rid of a lot of the heat just by getting rid of those seeds. Now, this was one of the things that my father liked to cook. And he liked it spicy. And my mom did not like it spicy. So, if your household's like that, what you wanna do is put your jalapeno pepper on one half of the skillet and leave the other half of the skillet without the jalapeno. So that way we'll have half spicy and we'll have half not as spicy. All right, and then um, we're gonna take our spinach and we're just gonna pour that in right on top of that. And by the way, spinach is really good for your blood. This is how we get our um, iron. How am I doing? <laughs> I think we better edit this out. <laughs> Capiche? <laughs> Capiche. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. 
So I'm just gonna take that spinach and kinda press it down in here like so. All right, we're gonna have to get rid of some of this. Okay, that's much better. Yeah, <laughs> so this is what it should look like after you add your spinach and you just wanna press it down because this spinach was cooked down when it cooks. And then we're gonna take our container of cottage cheese and we're just gonna pour that out right over the top. And can you grab me a spoon? Thank you. Yes. And so we wanna just kinda of spread our cottage cheese out over the top, kinda of like so. And then uh, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our shredded pepper jack. And for that, we're gonna use the number one blade on the food chopper. And away we go. Now one of the things you want to do when you're cooking this is your little lip here where your water seal forms, you want to make sure there's no food on that lip. If you have food in there, it can prevent your whistle from activating. And then we're just going to put this on full blast as high as it goes. And then when it whistles, we'll turn it down to 225 and let it cook for 20 minutes. So this is a, about a 30 minute dish using frozen chicken. And it doesn't get any easier than that. So we'll kick that on and we'll show it to you guys when it's ready. Cut. I think we better edit this out. 